how's everybody doing? So I just got done watching The Last of Us, Episode 4. Um, I forget what the title was card called. Yeah, I'm bad with titles at this point. Um, I really enjoyed this episode. This was a awesome episode for me. Um, you even got, like, a little cameo. Uh, the person who plays Tommy in The Last of Us video game. The second I saw him, I freaked out. I just could not believe it. That was a gigantic surprise for me because I absolutely love the game, the original game that is my favorite video game of all time, and to see him come back into this universe is awesome. And if they ever do make a Last of Us Part 3 game, I would love to see Tommy back, which which will mostly likely happen. And I also like the little Easter egg to Ellie having a little joke book. Now, if you're a huge fan like me of the original game, you should tell that that was a little easter egg to the game because there is a little section after you fight all these people in the in this uh hotel uh ellie brings out a joke book and starts reading you jokes and because of that you kind of get a little hint that ellie is a humorous person that she likes to tell people jokes she like kind of likes likes to annoy people too and that was a nice little easter egg there i really liked it and there was even another little easter egg in this where where um like, uh, Joel takes, like, a little mixtape. He says this this was before his time, which was a actual line in the game where Ellie says that she found some music. He's like, you know, this was before my time. Puts it in, and he, and he likes it. And it's the same exact song that they have in the video game when they're driving and when they crash the car into the city. They have so many Easter eggs and hints to the original game in this episode. To me, I think this had the most. Hell, you even get the little scene where Ellie finds a little... Bill's magazine, and that's why they're stuck together and throws out the window. That was scene for scene out of the video game. And I loved that. I loved how they did that. Every hint and Easter egg that they took from the get from the original game to put it in this, they did amazing to me. Maybe just because I'm in love with the original game, that's why this episode really stood out to me. Hell, I just really like how they brought this to life, how like one guy comes into the streets and acts like he's hurt, and Joel was just like, he ain't hurt. He goes towards him and just runs him over. Well, in the, in the show, he doesn't run him over, but in the game, he does. Yeah, but overall, I just really enjoyed this episode. That's really all I had to say. This was a fantastic episode. And I also like the little character of Catherine, something like that, where she kind of likes interrogates the old guy, asks for, like, Sam and uh, the one guy, Sam and Henry. Why do I always forget Henry? Sam and Henry, she's interrogating this old guy. She's just like, I know you know where Henry and Sam are. Just tell me and all that. Because And there's even a part in this where uh, the, guy, the guy Joel killed with the knife, she thinks it was them. But no, it was Joel and Ellie. And then this episode ended with a really good cliffhanger with Sam and Henry pointing a gun at Joel and Ellie. But if you're like me and know the game, you're going to know that they team up later on. But maybe they won't. Maybe they'll take like a different turn because they've been doing a lot of that in this game. But what did you guys think of this episode of The Last of Us? Did you enjoy it? Did you not like it? Um, so far, this might be my favorite episode. But let me let me know your thoughts in the, in the comments below. And until my next video or review, take care.